All right. It's Friday, November 20th, and I just got out of my space trade. Um, you can see here, this is the daily of space, and my entry was yesterday's close, and I got out pretty much in the pre-market early this morning. To make it easier to see where I got out, here I'll show you the pre-market of this morning. So my entry was at the close around 24.06. I was able to get out around 7 a.m. this morning. I got out around 24. Three, covering me about a percent of profit. I could have waited probably a little longer and covered a little bit more, but since the volume wasn't that high, especially with the amount I was using, I didn't want to take any risk on profit. So I took what I could get and I'm, I'm happy with it. So just to look back here, I want to show you guys the indexes and why I decided to make this trade. So here we got Dow Jones, here we got S&P, NASDAQ, and I'll put space up for you guys. So you can see that with the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones and S&P all yesterday, so this is the daily for yesterday, all closed higher, suggesting that we have a likely chance that the market was going to open higher, which it's slightly even, but it, it opened higher and all we really needed was a bullish stock. And I really like space mostly because it broke this trend line and looking back, you can see that this trend line was pretty steep and it took a while for it to hold the break and after 1118 it started to hold so I felt good on 1119 to hold it and I mean it was smart for me to wait for the break just because look at how it's done on previous green days it didn't look too good of a pattern so once I saw it break the trend line and I saw it hold above a green day then I knew that this would probably be a good trade and I was happy to go heavy and it ended up going pretty well. I'm ending the week positive, ending the day positive, so everything's looking really good. All right, I just wanna show you guys how I came out this morning. Came up with a $1,500, and you can see I covered all my shares at 24.3, so pretty good, 1% return. Um, and lastly, I wanna show you guys here just my swing trading watch list. Again, you see I'm not trading really any risky stocks or you know, cheap penny stocks. I'm looking for high market cap, blue chip stocks, and I'm not looking for these crazy returns. 1%, 2% is great returns for me. And, you know, getting that consistency really builds up that compound interest. And over time, 1% is all you're going to really need in a day. So if you like these trades, just keep watching. Click that subscribe button below, and I'll keep posting.